back to Technogistics. Um, so I'm just I'm having all sorts of fun with uh, Lion Apple's new uh, version of OS X. And I, I opened up a software update. Well, truthfully, it auto-opened, but uh, I, I saw iTunes uh, 10.4 here. Now, uh, just a point of fact, right now we're on 10.3.1. Uh, and I saw iTunes is now a 64-bit Cocoa application. Oh, that's significant. Uh, I opened up uh, my activity monitor here. And... And let's see if we can find iTunes, uh, process name, and had to remember that you can filter, kind of a cool feature. The thing to uh, see here is that, uh, well, iTunes Helper is a 64-bit application. iTunes itself is just a 32-bit application. So what they did in this update is uh, basically brought it up to kind of the next generation of Apple applications with the Apple Cocoa framework, uh, programming framework. And so anyhow, I'm going to install this update. I'm going to pause the video. And when the update is done installing, uh, we'll have a look at the new iTunes. The other... Uh, capability they mentioned is that it's a full screen app now so we'll see what full screen iTunes look likes and looks like and uh, do all that hang on a second here we go all right we're back um, updates installed here so close out of that and we of course don't have iTunes open open iTunes So theoretically, this update should uh, make it feel a little snappier. Again, I'm, I'm kind of breaking a video best practice here and, and kind of going into this demo blind. Uh, I haven't used the new iTunes update before, but that's okay because I'm a professional. Not really, but uh, here we go. Okay, so I keep uh, doing the three-finger gesture instead of the two-finger gesture. Um, does it feel snappier? I don't know. Jury's still out on that. But uh, it, it, I didn't feel like it was that slow, but feels good. Feels responsive. Um, one thing to note is the full screen button. So now this is showing up in more and more uh, apps that are programmed to take advantage of full screen mode. And let's click it. And there it is. So full screen iTunes. This is really good. Um, if you have like a 11 inch MacBook Air, you have something with um, less screen resolution for whatever reason or, or less screen real estate, it's nice to be able to full screen your apps. Uh, we'll see how much I use this in practice, but uh, and then you can take three fingers and swipe to the right, and we're back in our desktop view. So basically, when you full screen an app, it creates its own space. Um, we do this with Safari too, and I'll show you uh, two apps. So we have Safari in full screen mode. Uh, three fingers swipe to the left. We have iTunes in full screen mode. Swipe back. Swipe back. We're at our desktop, one more time, to the uh, dashboard. So that's a pretty cool deal. I, I, I like the three-finger swipes and swipe down, of course, to uh, or swipe up to uh, open our uh, mission control. And anyhow, this video kind of turned into a demo of full-screen apps, but that's okay. And you click on those, and we can take the app. I think there's a shortcut to take it out of full, full screen. Oh, yeah, there we go. So if you uh, go up to the top of the window, you can click on the little full screen button and it will jump out of full screen mode and it'll put it back on your uh, main desktop there. Anyhow, that's the new iTunes. Thought I'd make a quick one about that. Um, kind of a cool deal, and, I, and I'm just glad it's a 64 bit bit app and we'll verify yep intel 64-bit very good new itunes